Hey fellow coders, welcome back to Coding Hub and today we are diving into something essential, the setup of our coding playground. So buckle up, fire up your computer and let's embark on a coding adventure with Visual Studio Code and the powerful GCC and G++ compiler using MingGW. Whether you are a seasoned developer or just starting out, having a robust development environment is a key to a smooth coding experience. Today we will be demystifying the setup process, making it accessible for everyone. But before we dive in, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and if you are ready to unleash the coder in you, give this video a thumbs up. Alright, let's get started. Okay, so you'll be starting up by opening any of the browser which is installed in your system. After this, you have to come in the search bar and you have to simply write Visual Studio Code. Now, after writing this, you will be finding out this particular link which is saying code.visualstudio.com. You have to click on this. Now after this, you will be clicking on this download for Windows. Now the download will automatically start. Now after you know the download is completed, you can simply click on this. Now you have to accept the agreement, then you have to click on this next button. Now you have to select the installation location. I will recommend you will leave it as it is. Then click on this next, then click on this next. Then what you have to do, you have to simply click on this create a desktop icon. It will basically create a desktop icon for you. After this, you have to simply click on this next. Now click on this install. It will start installing the Visual Studio Code in your system. So it, it might take some time. Okay, so it is almost installed. We will be running this Visual Studio Code now. We have to click on this finish. Now after running this you might be you know seeing something like this because I am having this installed already so I am you know loaded out with the previous project I will be closing out this I have to come on to this extension you know and after coming on to this you have to search for C C++ and you will be searching out this you will be finding out this one at the top which is C C++ by Microsoft I have to click on this install you know so it is already installed in my system but for your case you have to click on this install after this you will be searching for another extension which will be code runner now you will be seeing this code runner you know by Jan Han now you have to also install this so uh, after doing all of this too you are ready with your Visual Studio Code. Now we have to install the MingGW. For this, what you have to do, we have to open another tab and we can simply say MingGW. Now, after searching this, you will be finding out this source forge website. You have to click on this. You have to click on this download button. Okay, so it is, you know, it is now has started downloading. Now, what we have to do, we have to simply click on this. Now it will be saying install. So we have to click on this install. Now we have to you know click on this continue again now it will be saying you know uh, run now reinstall so because i was already having it already so i am you know showing it again to you so i will be clicking on this reinstall now it will be downloading some of the packages which are required it might take some time so we'll be waiting over here okay so now we have to click on this continue now you know few of these things will be installed now what you have to do you have to simply check box all of this so you have to mark all of this for installation so it is required that you mark all of them you will be also marking this then this you know so it, it might take some time for you okay so uh, almost all are marked for installation now we have to simply you know come on to this installation and then we have to you know say mark all upgrades or we can simply say apply changes so after doing this we can simply say apply now it will take some time you know to uh, download all the packages and install all the packages in our system so we'll be waiting for this
okay so finally our installation is done we can simply close this dialog box and now what we can do we can simply close this one also okay now we can close this one also okay now what we have to do we have to come over here and then we have to simply search for you know uh, environment uh, edit environment or we can say edit the system environment variable you have to search on this for now you have to click on this now after coming to this you have to click on this environment variables after this you will be coming on to this system variable and you will be having you know this path over here okay in this path you know we'll be basically putting our uh, bin folder now where you can get your bin folder from you have to simply come to the installation place where you have installed this you have to come to this C after this you will be finding out this Mingzi W then after this you will be finding out this bin now inside this bin we will be copying out this path you have to simply say control A C okay now it is copied now we can simply come over here and in the end we can simply say you know Mingzi W bin so you can simply copy it out if you want and you have to simply paste it in the you know environment variable then you can click on this ok you can click on this ok and you'll be clicking on this ok ok now what you have to do you have to simply open cmd so for this we can simply say cmd and then here we can simply say gcc ok so what we can say gcc version now you can see that gcc is you know installed because we can see the version now let us go with the g plus plus now for this also we can simply say g plus plus dot uh, you know version to see the version okay now both of them are installed and you will be getting this same things upon you know giving this particular prompts and if you are you know uh, getting this then it is installed in your system after this you have to simply click on this close and now what we can do is we can simply open our you know visual studio code after this we can simply create uh, you know click on this new file after this we have to name our new file we can simply say you know like abc and then we can click on this or we can say enter after this we have to give the extension for this let us create a uh, you know c++ file we will be giving an extension of dot cpp create file after this we will be writing our code like we can simply say include io stream and after this we can simply say using name space stt and inside this we can simply have our main function and then we can simply say you know like see out hello world the semicolon and then we can simply have return zero now if we simply click on this run button and we scroll down we can see our output so we were basically able to set up our visual studio code and uh, you know our main gw gcc g plus plus compilers so if you face any error you can simply comment down in the video and i will be replying you as soon as possible till then you can subscribe to the channel hit the bell icon and never miss any update from us have a great coding journey